Hello. So I just woke up from a dream that I want to talk about quick. I really don't know what to think about it, but... Because uh, I don't dream. Or I don't remember my dreams. So... I was... Going over to some... Plant. I don't know why they made food. And... I think I had to buy some stuff. I had to buy some groceries. Some milk and... I know I had to get milk. And I went in this place and... It was like... They prepared everybody's food there. Um... And I, everyone was just working, preparing people's foods. Putting them in separate bags in this factory, kind of. And... You know, nobody noticed that when I walked through the door. Then no one noticed me. And I, I think I was there to meet somebody, but I didn't know who. And... I was just looking around, waiting to see if someone noticed me. Maybe I, I surprised them, I don't know. Um, so as I'm waiting, um, I was just looking around at people. I was just looking around at people. Trying to wonder, you know, wonder what was going on. And, um, I wanted to pay for my food. Because <laughs> there's a little area that you could pay for food, like, you know, like a gas station area. You go up there, grab your stuff, and pay for it. And then off to the left, that's where everyone was working in these rows. Um, but if you went straight, it was like this huge factory. Um, and next thing you know, this buzzer rang and people started popping up and they noticed me you know so as they noticed me they were like hey Matt you know they come over to me then will walk right by me after saying hi you know one a couple of people I knew they're from church uh, one guy Anakin was there and he's like, hey, you're going to be preaching soon. <laughs> and, uh, and I, I don't think, I don't remember answering him. But they were happy to see me. And, um, Caden, shh. Uh, next thing you know, I, there's another guy. He jumped up from the way back in the row and said hi to me. And, Another guy, Adam, it was, you know, him and I were always excited to see each other. So he said, hey, what's up? And, and then some girl I never met before, but I remember talking to her, I think, through Facebook. I got to meet her there. I shook her hand and then I gave her a hug. I don't remember her name. Um, but, you know, they were all happy to see me. And then I was like, you know, I want to go pay for my stuff. It was sitting on the counter, and it was gone. So, you know, when it's gone, I'm like, hey, I gotta pay for the stuff, and everyone's rushing out of that, out of that place, you know. And you know, I'm trying to figure out how I can find my stuff now and pay for it. And by that time, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. You know, everyone's already out the door. So then I, I go outside and, you know, there's like, it seems like there's buses and all these vehicles in the parking lot and they're all leaving, taking people. And, um, I was like, wow, everyone's getting out of here pretty fast. Caden. And, um, so I was like, Parking lot cleared out pretty quick. There's some, there's always some vehicles left behind, I guess. And I was trying to find my car, and um, I couldn't find my car. I couldn't find my car. 
and there were, it's black, black cruise, and I'm like, I just kept clicking the button, I kept hearing the beeping, but I just couldn't find my car, and I kept circling around the area I thought it was at, and there were some black cars that looked like it, and I just couldn't find it, and as I'm clicking, I'm, I'm hearing this beeping, and I, I think I find it at one point, and I'm like, this isn't my car, but there's some stuff similar in here, and, um, then I'm like, where's my car? And then as I'm clicking, I kept hearing the beep. And, and eventually, I find this dumpster with my whole radio headset sitting on the edge of it. Like the stereo, the touch screen and everything. And as I'm clicking the button, it beeps. Okay. He's up here. So as I'm... Uh, I noticed this, I'm like, someone stole my car. I know it's a common car, but somebody stole my car. And, you know, I wasn't... I wasn't so much concerned that... Someone stole it. I just... It's like, why did they steal it? Trying to record this for second in the morning is a good idea. So I was just like, wow, someone stole my card and I'm trying to call the cop or for some reason I was calling the dealership first but I didn't answer. They I heard them but I didn't say anything. And I'm like, I gotta call the police, and figure this out. And then I'm like I just remember standing here by myself, and I felt I was just all alone. And I'm like, I'm all, you know, what, what's going on here? And I woke up, and I was trying to figure out what the heck this dream was about. And I asked the Lord to reveal it to me, you know, the meaning of this dream. And then I just felt like it was an end time dream. You know, it symbolized a lot. Um, but I closed my eyes. And next thing you know, it's like this angel shot down from the sky. And picked me up really quick and took me up to the sky to heaven. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this about? Well, I feel like it was the end time like I was Christ for some reason representing him and when I went into the factory nobody noticed me you know Jesus will come like a thief in the night and nobody knows and nobody will be ready you know and people will recognize him <clears throat> people will recognize me but they went right by me and the thing is they only rec they they heard the bell ring in the factory like the trumpet signaling, the end time, like Christ is coming here. And it's like they noticed me, but they didn't go with me. You know, they didn't go with me. And then I was all by myself. You know? <clears throat> and, you know, I think that the whole food and everything with the factory, I think it's just a sign of how it's going to be. You know, they say, they hear these stories about the end time with, uh, you know, these factory, you know, people being kind of like robots. You know, they take the mark of the beast and um, everything's kind of automated and people don't think or feel, you know. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. I just, that's what I feel like it, it represented. Um so weird um but i wasn't like worried or anything like i was calm about everything you know but at that end when i closed my eyes again and i think it was like it was something someone in white came out really i mean really quick it took me up i mean it was really quick like 
a split second. Uh, but I, I was, it was like I seen from a distance. Like I wasn't in my own body when it happened. Um, so weird. But I want to share that. I don't get dreams normally. Um, but I thought everyone should know. So, praise God. Um, pray everyone has a relationship with him and that you know him. And that he loves us. And to get ready for when he comes again. I know that I need, I, you know, I do my best. You know I'm a sinner, but I repent as much as I can and have that relationship with him that he desires from us all. So, read your Bible, pray, go to church, try not to sin. If you do repent and just try to live a holy life, you know, and have that relationship. Alright, love you guys. God bless.